Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. In this teaching, learn how to receive and release the ministry of deliverance and conquer spiritual warfare led by the Holy Spirit. Kathy is passionate about exposing the enemy and assisting people to conquer torment in their minds. Kathy's new book, Mind Battles, Root Out Mental Triggers to Release Peace, can be ordered wherever books are sold. Now, get ready to receive revelation, impartation, and deliverance with Kathy DeGraw. Hey friends, I want to welcome you back to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. And today I want to talk to you about changing your words, changing your mind. Proverbs 18, 21 says, death and life is in the power of the tongue. The Bible says we will have whatever we say, speak to your mountain and it'll be removed. It tells us how we create with our words. When we look at Father God, Father God created the world with his words. There is so much power in the words we speak. The Bible says faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. But I also believe that we hear what we speak, and that comes into our heart and back into our mind, into our brain. And even if we speak something positive, we're hearing it. If we speak something negative, we're hearing it. So no matter what, we're speaking that. And the positive, what? It brings forth joy, happiness, hope. And that negative brings forth depression, heaviness, weariness. And so we have to watch out what we're speaking. Even if we have an ache, a pain, even if we're not feeling good, if we're like, oh, I'm not feeling good today, what's it do? It makes us give ourselves a little bit of permission to maybe be passive or lazy or or be like talking about, oh, to our spouse or our friend, oh, I don't feel good. And I got this little ache and this little pain. And then the next time we have an ache and a pain that just kind of builds on it. And the next time it builds on it again. And so what we're doing is we're actually training our brain. We're training our mind to think negative thoughts, to think worst case scenarios. Our brain is made to be neuroplasticity, which means it's ever changing. God actually created our brain, our mind to change. And so if we're feeding it all the time with negativity of what we speak out of our mouth, our brain is going to be trained to speak in that and react in that negativity and to automatically go to worst case scenarios. Think about it like this. You know, when we were raised as a child, maybe you were raised in a positive, happy, joyful home. Maybe you were raised in a negative home. But however you were raised, most likely you took on that trait and that characteristic. And that's what we can do over time. So maybe you're a really positive person and maybe all these joyful, great things happen to you. But then you went down the slope for a while and now you have a hard time getting back to that positive person. Well, I want to assure you, if we will change our words, if we will change our thinking, we will change our mind again. We can change it back because our mind is always changing. We have 8,000 new neurons neurons every morning when we wake up. The Bible says his mercies are new every single morning. So every day, it's a fresh chance. I think that is wonderful. But what we have to realize is that what we speak out comes back into us. It comes back into our heart and it comes back into our mind. And so even if we're thinking a little bit negative or feeling a bad day, let's speak something positive. And so I trained people for a long time on word choices. Like if you don't have enough money, don't say, I don't have enough money or I'm in poverty or I can't afford that. Turn it into a positive declaration such as, I'm waiting for my financial blessing to manifest. I'm choosing to spend my money on this. You know, If you have a headache and, you know, your spouse comes home and you're kind of rubbing your head, you know, kind of wanting some attention, like, hey, do you notice me? I got that headache. You know, instead of doing that, leave that aside. If they're like, hey, how are you doing today? Say, you know what? I have a headache that's trying to attack me, but I'm believing God for the full manifestation of my healing. 
And so we don't want to always ignore what we're feeling, but we want to watch how we're speaking it out. Now, see, I'm believing God for the full manifestation of my healing. Now those words come back into my heart, back into my mind. And who knows, you might just find me declaring, I have the mind of Christ. I speak a decree that my headache is gone, that serotonin levels are normal in the name of Jesus, that no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. No sickness or plague is going to come near my dwelling. And all of a sudden, I'm just having this wellspring of life coming up out of my inner being. I mean, is that so wonderful? I mean, that's what we need to be like. If you think about it, you don't really want to be around negative people. I know I don't. You want to be around positive people. People are going to put out what you want to take in. And everyone wants positivity and joy and hope and every good and perfect thing. So friends, I want to encourage you. You can change your mind. You can change your thinking by changing the attitude of your heart, by changing the words that are going to come out of your mouth. You can do it. My question is, will you do it? And I even made myself some battle cards recently, and I've been putting these in the orders that we get into our ministry to help people think positive thoughts. And my husband even said to me one day, he goes, Kathy, he goes, I wish I could tape this up in front of your forehead so that when you were thinking negative or you even are tempted to think negative, you can think it. But these are the types of things that we need to be thinking. You will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy. You have put gladness in my heart. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I go in the strength of the Lord. All things are working together for my good. You are a shield for me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I have set my love before him, therefore he will deliver me. I am more than a conqueror through him who loves me. Thanks be to God who always causes me to triumph. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. I am renewed in the spirit of my mind. You keep me in perfect peace because my mind is stayed on you. Now, those are some powerful, positive confessions. Friends, head over to Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, wherever you buy your favorite book, and get my new book, Mind Battles, Root Out Mental Triggers to Release Peace. And if you want to get it through our website at kathydegraministries.org, I'll drop that postcard in it that has your mind positive declarations that you can proclaim out to change your thinking. Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. Receive additional teaching through Kathy's Web Church Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook or through her Prophetic Spiritual Warfare book. I invite you to visit kathydegrawministries.org for books, mentoring, blogs, or to invite Kathy to speak at your event. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth deliverance.